Welcome to this channeled forecast for the week of January 29 to February 4th, 2024. Here I focus on the major aspects with an emphasis on the personal and interpersonal influences. All times of Pacific Standard Time. The visuals used are to enhance the forecast, but in no way necessary to understand the content, so feel free to simply listen along. This week we continue working through the influence of the two long-term transits. Chiron, the wounded healer with the North Node, our destiny point, and Jupiter, the great expander in harmonious connection with Saturn, the mature taskmaster. Conversations and insights over the weekend may have shed light on personal goals and the need to overcome old wounds and conditioning so that we can shine in our authenticity and get on track. Uranus, now direct, is fueling us with sudden urges and inspiration to move things along and take a radical new step. This is set against a palpable and comforting sense of stability and expansion in various aspects of our lives, as we continue to reflect on and identify the worthwhile growth opportunities and wise investments of our precious time and energy. Midweek, under the diplomatic Libra moon, we will once more be faced with the push and pull of the past old ways of relating and what we want for our future. We need each other, but is this interdependence or codependence? On Friday, the third quarter moon square in Scorpio may be intense, as emotions fight to be acknowledged and released. Though there might also be a temptation to retreat into intellectualizing instead of feeling. What is revealed may be uncomfortable, unexpected, but when faced with courage, deeply cathartic. And on Sunday night, February 4th, Mercury enters Aquarius, and we start to build up the water bearer pile up, which peaks in mid-February. Restlessness, wild ideas, and cool detached disclosures that might blow our minds are all possible, especially as the planet of communication joins Pluto and is the first planet to make an exact conjunction since the potent transformer entered Aquarius. For now, it's a perfect week to keep doing that healing work, as well as taking practical physical steps to set up our foundations. All planets are direct, and it's one of the best times to manifest that next adventure. Monday, January 29th, in the morning, we're coming off the Grand Earth Trine between the Virgo Moon, Mercury and Mars in Capricorn, and Uranus in Taurus. The trine between Mars and Uranus will be exact later in the day. Expect a potent surge of action, determination and unexpected inspiration this morning, especially where you have Earth placements around 18 to 20 degrees. We may feel a strong impulse to initiate new projects or embrace spontaneous ideas, all the while fueled by dynamic yet stable will. Venus in Capricorn is separating from the sextile to Jupiter and Taurus, but is still in the minor grand trine with Saturn in Pisces. Saturn and Jupiter continue to apply in their sextile. This combination amplifies a sense of stability and expansion in everything we're putting in the work and effort, including relationships and finances. We might find ourselves reflecting on recent opportunities for growth, how we can have more return on our investment, and where we are committing and what is worth our time and energy. Chiron in Aries is getting ever closer to the North Node and coming off the recent nodal T-square with Mars and Mercury. We likely had some powerful insights, ideas, and conversations over the weekend about our goals, what's working, and what is holding us back from the life we want. A lot of that involves facing old wounds and hurts of the past and moving on from conditioning so we can live more authentically. With all planets now direct and Pluto and Aquarius, the momentum for progress and change is definitely strong and will only intensify as more planets enter Aquarius. This afternoon, the Virgo moon opposes Neptune in Pisces, creating a tension between practicality and the lure of the unseen and mystical. It could be hard to stay rational, organized, and have to get things done because of a desire to escape into our imagination. Don't feel guilty if you find yourself daydreaming and in a bit of a Monday afternoon slump. The waning moon goes void, of course, just before 3.30pm, before entering Libra, just after midnight. So for the rest of the afternoon and evening, try not to make a major decision. Relax, finish what you need, and enjoy an early night. 
Tuesday, January 30th, there are no new major aspects, but a continuation of the energies of yesterday, with the difference that we now have a moon in Libra. This adds some more grace and a desire for harmony to our interactions. We might be more balanced in how we communicate, taking off some of those cold Saturnian edges and looking for cooperation rather than confrontation. There is still the drive for action from Mars, the planet of assertiveness and ambition, in the harmonious trine with Uranus, the planet of unpredictability and innovation, pushing many to take a new approach to their goals. We're more likely to break free from routine, embrace unconventional methods, and fearlessly pursue our ambitions. Chiron is of course still approaching the North Node, but there is some relief from the Mars and Mercury pressure of the last few days. We are healing and realizing that we are indeed powerful, courageous, and can overcome a lot of things that may have seemed like obstacles. We just need to remember ourselves and be our own greatest supporters. Saturn and Jupiter continue to apply in their sextile, providing that wonderful backdrop of stability and expansion, making it the ideal time to identify what's worth that long-term investment and energy to get maximum return. This afternoon, the Libra moon does challenge Venus and Capricorn in a square. We may feel a bit torn between seeking compromise and sticking to our responsibilities and holding on to what we value. It might be an opportunity to address any imbalances in our relationships and find solutions that honor both the need for emotional connection and practical considerations. And later tonight, the Libra moon ends the day with a fabulous trine to the Aquarius sun. Even though it's the start of the week, if you can, go out, socialize, connect to others and enjoy everything that's innovative and inspiring. Wednesday, January 31st could be a bit of a tense day. The waning Libra moon is with the South Node and together they oppose Chiron. We might be drawn to reflect on the past, perhaps revisiting patterns or situations that we need to release and let go. There's a strong karmic element wanting us to break free from old habits, ties and conditioned responses, especially around relationships and where we lose ourselves. As the day goes on and into the evening, the Libra Moon engages with Mercury and Mars in Capricorn in a square, which can propel us to take action on those issues that might have come up. It can, of course, also be a time of increased tensions, arguments and standoffs, especially for cardinal placements, Cancer, Libra, Aries and Capricorn between 17 to 23 degrees. Fortunately, Mercury in Capricorn is starting to apply in the sextile to Neptune in Pisces, giving us a really beautiful blend of compassion, intuition, and logical thinking. And Jupiter is still applying in the sextile to Saturn. Again, there's a lot of opportunity now to get clear on who and what is important and where we want to put our energy and maximize our return on investment. So today, find the time to acknowledge any pain, vulnerability, or insecurities that may surface, slow down, journal, handle partnership issues with grace, and show yourself lots of compassion and self-care. On Thursday, February 1st, the Libra moon went void of course overnight around 1am, and so we awakened to a void of course moon. So try to only focus on what you need to get done, and don't make any major decisions if possible. The moon then enters Scorpio just after 12.30pm and of course squares Pluto in Aquarius. Here we have the dispositor of the moon, the planet associated with transformation and intensity, Pluto, pulling out all manner of emotional intensity and a need for inner reflection, but with the twist of the outlier Aquarius ruled by Uranus. It's a time when power struggles, emotional purging, or psychological complexities might pop up and into our conscious awareness. It can be obsessive, explosive, but also holds the potential for profound self-discovery and healing if approached with a willingness to embrace transformation. Already dealing with a Pluto and Aquarius, fixed sign personal placements, especially those early degrees of Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio, could be feeling this one very strongly. Mercury in Capricorn is sextile Neptune in Pisces and the aspect is exact overnight tonight. So lots of compassion with grounded thinking and logic is available. Slow down, get your feelings and thoughts out, perhaps by journaling, moving your body and get in touch with Source to help you navigate anything that comes up. 
Jupiter in Taurus continues to get ever closer to its exact sextile with Saturn in Pisces and Chiron in Aries is also right by the North Node. We are individually and collectively healing old wounds around confidence, courage and what we are truly worth. The practical and mature foundations that we lay now will be what brings rewards down the road. We just have to respect ourselves. Friday, February 2nd, expect a day marked by intense emotions, but also the chance for a profound release, especially of anything the full moon a week ago had illuminated. It starts with the Scorpio moon coming off the overnight square with Jupiter and Taurus and trine with Saturn in Pisces while applying in the third quarter moon square to the sun in Aquarius, which is exact just after 3 p.m. The moon will also be making a nice sextile to Venus, which is also still in a separating trine to Jupiter. Lots of emotions are being worked through and there could be a very heavy feeling to the day. We might feel conflicted between the desire for emotional security and a yearning for freedom and independence. With Chiron approaching the notes, we are at a significant moment that is challenging our sense of self and today that can manifest as intense emotional experiences, push and pull dynamics and frustrations. Fixed placements of Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius around the 13 degree mark will be feeling this particularly strongly. We do need love, companionship and others and supportive connections can take us so far but it must be while honoring everyone's needs too, and primarily our own, otherwise resentments build up and eventually poison what we love. As we shift into the afternoon, unpredictability and the need for change could take centre stage, so try to stay flexible and get some fresh air to gain perspective. Saturday, February 3rd, we wake up to the overnight opposition from the Scorpio moon to Uranus and Taurus, but in a nice sextile triangle with Mars in Capricorn and Neptune in Pisces. This can be a morning where we feel inspired to take solid steps based on the emotional insights of yesterday and also today. Of course, we need to be cautious not to jump the gun and act impulsively. If tempers are flaring, it's better to take a step back. However, there is absolutely a level of divine inspiration that can help guide our decisions and actions. The Aquarius Sun is applying in the sextile to Chiron and the North Node in Aries illuminating gently those areas where we have felt wounded or less than. The more we face these with respect and compassion, the more we can move forward in a way that aligns with our life paths. This is a very constructive and supportive transit, perfect for personal development and gaining a forward-looking perspective. It's okay to move on. Venus in Capricorn, however, is starting to, in turn, square Chiron with the nodes following in the footsteps of Mercury and Mars. This is where relationships, values and finances could begin to feel a good deal of pressure, especially for those with cardinal placements, Cancer, Aries, Libra and Capricorn around 13 to 18 degrees. Are these areas Venus rules in alignment with where you want to be heading? This could be a testing time where we take a critical look at what is working or what is an old conditioned way of behaving. How are we loving and expressing or suppressing our self-worth? As Jupiter in Taurus continues to apply in the sextile to Saturn in Pisces, we are urged and supported in creating foundations that are not based on delusions or pie-in-the-sky promises. What is solid, reliable and well thought out will yield the best returns. The moon then goes void, of course, just before 7.30pm and enters Sagittarius just before 10.30pm. So it's a laid back evening where it's better to get an early night and avoid making any major decisions. On Sunday, February 4th, we have the last full day of Mercury in Capricorn with Mercury at 29 degrees. Watch for being too detached, inflexible or pessimistic. Others could also easily poke holes in our ideals and plans. We are halfway through Aquarius season, so an air of detachment is quite likely. Aquarius is a people-oriented sign in theory, but it sometimes is more concerned with intellectual connections rather than emotional intimacy. And as luck would have it, the Sagittarius moon square Saturn in Pisces this morning. The desire to play, kick up our heels, oh, being met with a cold shoulder. And Venus in Capricorn is of course squaring Chiron in the nodes. The aspect is exact overnight and into tomorrow morning relationships, values and perhaps finances are all under pressure. 
Are they sustainable or are they linked to an outdated version of ourselves? The Aquarius Sun is applying in the sextile to the same Chiron and the North Node. It's an invitation to honor our individuality and know that the best partnerships, investments and life paths come from sovereign beings who come together in respect, not codependency. But first we must respect and honor ourselves. Jupiter in Taurus is applying in the sextile to Saturn in Pisces. Make smart investments, lay solid foundations and see the universe respond with abundance. Then just after 9pm Mercury enters Aquarius as our Aquarius pileup begins to take shape and will peak in mid-February. The planet of communication is conjunct Pluto in Aquarius which will be exact tomorrow morning. This can be a time of profound insights, shocking revelations and secrets revealed. Paranoia and feeling like we have a breakthrough answer when in fact it's more distractions is also possible. We have never experienced a Mercury-Pluto conjunction in Aquarius so time will tell but this will be a good indicator for us what the next 20 years may feel like. This is in fact the first planet to make an exact conjunction with Pluto in Aquarius so pay attention to how you feel and what comes up. Very early fixed placements of Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio and Taurus will get the impact the most. Overnight and into tomorrow morning, the Sagittarius Moon will make wonderful aspects to the Aquarius Sun, Nodes and Chiron. This mix is like a balm of joy, optimism and hope, a true breath of fresh air. There's a sense of positivity and that things are aligning just as they should. Everything's going to be alright. Next Friday, February 9th, we have the new moon in Aquarius, square Uranus and Taurus. This marks an exciting chance for a new beginning as we head further along this wild Aquarian ride, but there might be some curveballs. I wish you a beautiful week and thank you so much for joining me here. As always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And please write me a comment below. I truly appreciate you and the kind messages you leave.